Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone guys. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. Rick and I took off for about a week and went to Asheville and met up with my daughter and my grandbaby and it was awesome sauce guys we had a blast i took them to the biltmore and uh, my grandbaby who i was afraid might get a little bored had a fantastic time she couldn't believe that there was a house built that size the biggest house in america and it was beautiful i'll post a picture showing it all to you decorated for Christmas. We did the candlelight tour, but we were there when the sun was going down and we got to look out all the windows at the beautiful vistas and landscapes. It's incredible. I think it was sits on, I think about 200 acres of a working farm, but well worth a visit. We went up to the top of some mountains and visited a lot of breweries and just had a blast. I came home anxious to paint and I arrived to some wonderful gifts that I want to share with you all. And I also want to show you because I get requests to show my dried painting. So if you'll bear with me for a minute, if not, just fast on forward to uh, the other stuff if that's what suits you. Look at this piece of art that I got in the mail. This came all the way from Australia from Sweet Sue Ashworth. And oh my gosh, I was just tickled pink. I don't know if you can see this beautiful shade of green in here and this mauve and these cells. Isn't this absolutely lovely, Sue? Thank you so much. You touch my heart. You make me smile big. I am very grateful for uh, the things some of you paint and peeps send my way. Very, very grateful. Sue, thank you. You have a lot of talent, young lady, and I am honored to hang this on my wall of fame. <laughs> Let me show you a few other things. I'm excited about uh, Sweet Tracy Reed, a fellow artist and a friend who spends a lot of time and hard work on her YouTube channel. I will certainly post a link in the description box. Um, she made this split cup and I'm really excited about it. She made it with her 3D printer and she reached out to me when she got it and said, Kathleen, I'm just, I'm so thrilled with my results. So we're gonna give this a go today, guys. This is Tracy Reed's split cup. Um, and she made it and I am beyond thrilled to be able to give it a go. I also got these swiping tools from her. You know guys that swiping is my jam and I use my paper towels, I use a palette knife, I use my flexible piece of plastic but look at these easy to wash, flexible, three different sizes, Tracy Reed. Thank you so very much. We're going to be trying these as well. Guys, it's important to, to support your favorite artists. They work very, very hard for you, and uh, I'm all about that. So let me show you some dried paintings because uh, some people have requested to see them. I'm a real fan of this piece and I hope it shows up well on camera. So many things don't. I um, put my isolation coat on it and my coat of high gloss varnish and then I finished with a satin varnish because I am really partial to the sheen. This is the dry swipe that I did a few weeks ago. It sits in a nice uh, floating frame that I got from uh, Jerry's Art Arama, but this guy suits me. He's going to hang in my own home. I don't know if you can see the cells, the color. Um, this was the dry swipe that I did and I was very, very pleased with the way that it dried. This right here, I came home to this. Uh, I left it um, when it was wet and I came home and I love the way this dried. This is my Mac Mac pour. I did this uh, um, kind of in honor of sweet Sarah Mack, who uh, taught me how to do these pours by watching her videos. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, but 
Oh my goodness, this has not been varnished. It has not uh, had anything done to it, but this violet color that goes through here and the center of this straight pour was, oh, just tickles me pink. And oh gosh, you know what? I just wish sometimes you guys could be here in person to look at these things because sometimes they just, oh, they just brighten my day. But look at these colors. This was the um, Purple Topaz by Treasure Gold, and it has a silvery shimmer to it that just knocks my socks off. But very happy, happy painting lady here when these things dry well. You guys know that feeling. I'm going to show you one more because I am head over heels with the way this dry. This was my Massey Boys pour. Um, they used some glorious colors and I was so enamored and I reached out to him and I said, Hey boyfriends, do you mind if I give that a go? This was a multiple ring pour. But, oh, I was a little nervous about the green because I'm not a green girl and I was afraid that it was going to just be too bright and take the eye away. And look at the way all this selled up. It selled up overnight. This I left when it was wet and I came home to it. I'm very, very thrilled. A lot of people think it looks like a, uh, a dinosaur's neck. <laughs> but this is just... Um, I'm very, 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 very pleased with this guy, and I'll show it to you again once I get it um, varnished because it'll make that black pop. So very, very grateful, very grateful. If you hear some jingling going on, that's my uh, Lido man. He is at my feet, and my daughter gave him a cute little tag that kind of jingles as he walks. What are we doing today? It's a 16 by 20 Blick Studio stretch canvas. Now I mis misordered these. These are only three quarters of an inch deep on the side and I'm used to a thicker canvas. So I hope that doesn't mess me up because you get used to the way something feels in your hands after a while. We're going to be doing Tracy Reed's split cut and we're also going to be doing Tracy Reed swiping tools. We're going to swipe up, start off with the swipe. And if you guys got time to hang around, this is a two for one. Let's talk about our colors. Our base coat today is going to be Artist Loft Black. Let me show you that bottle in the Flow Acrylics. Our swiping colors today are going to be Golden Fluid in the Turquoise. We also have golden fluids in the iridescent copper. We have golden fluids, let me grab it, in the iridescent gold fine. And we have golden fluids in the bone black. Now the bone black is mixed and it only the bone black is mixed with the magical <laughs> Aussie flow trawl. This stuff does some really cool lacing, creates some really good cells, takes forever to get to you and when it arrives you're a little surprised at the size. But this is one part paint to four parts Aussie flow trawl. Now I've used it a couple of times, and guys, its I don't know if you can see it, but the magic ingredient in this is some type of an oil. There's a little bit of an oil slick on the top of my cup here. I heard from a friend of a friend of a friend who is a scientist and looked into it and said that there's linseed oil in this. So, hey guys, maybe we can add a little linseed oil to our American Floetrol and get the same effect. All the other paints are mixed with a different pouring medium today because I got home and realized I'm out of my Floetrol. I watched Sweet Molly from Molly's Artistry do a fantastic paint mixing video 
And one of the pouring mediums that she used is Creative Inspirations Acrylic Medium. And I got a case of this a few months ago, and I have not used it because I got so used to my PM, which is Floetrol and GAC 800. I'm out of Floetrol, so I'm giving this a go. So my pouring medium is about two thirds of the Creative Inspiration and one third of the Golden GAC 800. So we're experimenting. That's part of the fun of this whole painting thing that we do, guys. So all the paints are mixed with the Creative Inspirations and the GAC 800, with the exception of the black, which is mixed with the Aussie Flow Troll. So we're going to be playing, guys. I've got diarrhea of the mouth. I have been a chatty Kathy. I'm going to put some tunes on for you. Put some tunes on for me and I am in my happy place and I'm going to paint. Glad you guys are here.